Every day, the Earth is warmed and illuminated by the beautiful energy of the sun. But sometimes our little brother, the moon, will get in the way, blocking the sun's light from hitting Earth. And other times, to return the favor, we will block the light from hitting the moon. But why does this occur, and why doesn't it occur more frequently? For that, it's time to discuss eclipses. An eclipse occurs when light is prevented from hitting one celestial body by another celestial body. For us on Earth, we have two kinds. Solar eclipses, when the sun is getting blocked by the moon, and lunar eclipses, when the moon is getting blocked by the Earth. Here's how it works. When the moon passes directly between the sun and the Earth, a shadow is cast on the Earth. The darkest part, where there is a full shadow, is the umbra, and this partial shadow is the penumbra. This is what it looks like from Earth. The moon crosses in front of the sun, and it appears to cover the entire disk. This is because of an interesting coincidence. The sun is about 400 times larger than the moon. However, it is also about 400 times farther away. Because of this coincidence, in the sky, the moon and sun appear to be the same size. That means when the moon crosses in front, it can cover the entire sun. However, this phenomenon only lasts approximately seven minutes and can only be seen by a small portion of the Earth, making solar eclipses a rather rare sight. But I wouldn't recommend seeing them without some pretty fancy equipment like these glasses. Depending on where you are in the umbra or penumbra, the light can seriously damage your eyes. You wouldn't look at the sun during the daytime, so don't do it during a solar eclipse. Now let's look at the lunar eclipse. This occurs when the Earth casts a shadow on the moon, and they are much easier to witness. Lunar eclipses last approximately an hour and 40 minutes and can be seen by anyone on the night side of the Earth. So, if these eclipses happen when the Earth, Moon, and Sun line up, why don't they happen all the time? Glad you asked. When viewed from above, this lineup happens twice during every lunar orbit, during the new moon and the full moon. However, when viewed from the side, we see the reason. The orbit of the moon is tilted just slightly off the plane of the Earth's orbit around the sun, by 5 degrees. 5 degrees may not seem like a lot, and it isn't, but remember, the Earth and the moon are very far apart, approximately 384,000 kilometers. And at that distance, the small 5 degree angle means that the moon only crosses the sun's plane twice during its orbit. These points are called nodes. As the Earth orbits the Sun, these nodes line up with the Sun twice a year. And if the Moon is in the correct position at that time, an eclipse will occur. A solar eclipse here, and a lunar eclipse here. There you have it. Three celestial bodies spinning around one another, and occasionally blocking the view. But does the Moon affect us in other ways here on Earth? As a matter of fact, it does. To find out more, click here to learn about tides.